Hello everybody, I'm Bastable H and here's the warmest welcome to this video. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about ways of making some serious... Guap. And yes, you guys have asked. Here are the comments from the last video. I could only put two on there because there was only two comments. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it. But thank you to those two people that are supporting the channel. Big respect. So the perfect way to understand how to acquire some extra cheddar is to research people that have a lot of money and how they're making it. Studies show that modern day millionaires actively go out and create more income sources. For example, 65% of millionaires have at least three income sources, 45% have four income sources, and 30% have five or more streams of income. And I think that comes across as no surprise. So when you're next daydreaming about what it'd be like to be rich and all the fancy things that you do if you were, maybe you should start thinking about another source of income that you can start doing to bring the bacon home. <laughs> and if thinking isn't your strong suit, I am a unicorn. You are a unicorn. Make sure you stay until the end of the video where I will indeed be teaching you how to become a unicorn. We are unicorns. Along with a few side hustles as well. Hear me out. Because I've scanned the whole internet in search of side hustles. So I'm going to be running through ones that I deem appropriate in this video. And some of these ideas you can start right now is they don't need any startup cash and they can bring back some hefty quark. And before we get into this, I just want to say that I have seen so many other YouTube videos on how to make money, but they always start out assuming we've got cash readily available. Like they'll buy a £200,000 house, do it up, flip it and sell it on for more. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got my daddy's trust fund. You know what you guys are that make these videos? A little hamstead cunt. That's exactly what you are. I'm going to be listing these side hustles in order of the ones that I'm going to be attempting first. And then I'm going to explain some that I'm going to be doing in later videos as you'll need a little bit of startup cash for these. But we would have already previously earned that money in the side hustles that we've done before those videos. So wait for them. So without further ado, let's start looking at the way that you can start making some profit with these side hustles just after you click that like button. Anytime now. So the first side hustle is probably one that you're familiar with, and it's known as OnlyFans. I'm joking, I was just seeing if you were paying attention. But since we're on this topic, why don't you follow 50 Shades of Baz for some quality content. Starting us off, the first side hustle is a good one that can be done to get off the zero pound mark. This is known as current account switching because you can get some free money off the banks. They hand out these promotions to new customers to try and attract them to come in. One of us. We accept that water. And they do this in a way of a cash reward. And you can do this every single year, so get it in your calendar. For example, Santander are currently offering £140 cash back when you switch your current account over to their branch. And the whole process of applying for this literally takes about 10 minutes. To put it into perspective, that's £840 an hour. Mad guap! Now, when you come around to watching this video, check the date on it before you have a look at the promotions because they're probably going to be different. Throughout the year, most banks change their offer, so you might be getting more money, you might be getting less money. However, before you yeet your bank account over to get the cash reward, have a look at the benefits that you've got with your current account and see if it's worth changing over to these because these will have benefits as well. It's just all depending on you. Now the second side hustle is one that I speak about quite a bit and for good reason. It's known as match betting and you can get a lot of money very fast and very easily with it. The pros of this is that you can pocket a lot of money with it being completely risk free despite it being in the gambling area. If you don't believe me, that's fine, you're entitled to your own opinion, but you can always watch my video up here where I explain how to match bet and I explain how it's completely risk free. I'm not going to be explaining it here because I've already explained it once. I'm not going to do it again. That's why I made the video. The cons of it is you have to be over 18 to be able to participate in it. It's the law. Another con is it's not passive income. So you have to put a little bit of time and effort into it to see some profits. However, you don't have to spend much time because you can easily get a thousand pound a month putting in half an hour to an hour work a day, which is pretty good. Since we've talked about passive income, we might as well get on the third side hustle. And this is known as affiliate marketing. This is where you, 
yes, you. Find a company or concept that you truly believe in and that you think will be valuable to other people when telling them. And then you're going to want to promote this like crazy. Well, I'm crazy. And just make sure that it is valuable to the people that are listening because nobody wants to hear about crap. So you start promoting a company with an affiliate program because it'd be pointless promoting it if it didn't. And then you start plugging your affiliated link in the descriptions of YouTube videos, Facebook posts, Twitter tweets, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, any social media platform in hopes of somebody clicking that link that likes your content and agrees with it. So for example, I'm gonna tell you about a company that I'm affiliated with and that's called Profit Accumulator. Now, I know I said match betting wasn't passive income. However, with the affiliate program and teaching people how to do it and getting referrals it turns what is active income into passive income as well the double whammy so with me referring you i get a little bit of commission for teaching you and you get to learn a new side hustle that can get you a bit of extra money we're all winners here after i teach you how to do it i'd say something like this if you found this video helpful for match betting then please click the link down in the description where it will take you to the sign up page where you can get started with profit accumulator for doing this i'll get a very small commission but it takes me a long time to make these videos so I will massively appreciate you for doing this. And if you don't... <laughs>so when somebody clicks the link and signs up through you congratulations you've got your very first referral and can now be known as one of the big boys you wanna tea with the big boys? and you get small commission off the company based on your contractual agreement with them so as long as the company stays alive and your promotions top-notch you'll be earning money forever getting money for doing nothing that sounds quite nice to me and if you're starting to like the idea of passive income then you're gonna love side hustle 4 stay tuned so if you're fashionable with a creative mind then t-shirt designing might be for you obviously i'm not going to be very good at this now there is a bit of a learning curve towards this as you'll need to know how to use software like adobe photoshop illustrator and canva depending on how detailed you want to be with the t-shirts however don't let that stop you doing this side hustle because you can learn these skills very easily youtube for example is a great free source of information where you can learn pretty much anything but what i do find with youtube is it lacks information when you start getting into the more advanced things this is where I come off YouTube and I go onto a website called Skillshare. This is where professionals in a specific niche make videos in what you're wanting to learn and they cover pretty much anything. Videography, photography, how to bake, educational videos and how to become a unicorn, which is the best video. I believe I could fly. This is where I learned how to video edit. So big shout out to Daniel Scott. You have the best course on that website. Now with saying all that, this video is going to look like it's sponsored by Skillshare now, but I assure you it's not. I'm not that big yet. So if you are wanting to learn and broaden your knowledge, then the link to this learning platform is down below in the description if you wanted to check it out. Did you see what I did there? I'm following step three affiliate marketing but anyway enough of the sidetracking once you've learned how to create some t-shirt designs you can then upload these to websites such as redbubble printful or zazzle you get paid and they sort out creating the t-shirt and sending it off to the customer so you do nothing else easy for example you can create some t-shirts like this this is where the video gets more serious now as this t-shirt was created for the bravest strongest little girl in the world my niece do something sick She's seven years old and she's battling rhabdomyosarcoma, which is a form of cancer. And her dream is to go to Disneyland and to raise as much money as possible to the rhabdomyosarcoma trial, which she's on. Out of all the links that I've been plugging down in the description, this is by far the most important to me. It's the Just Given page for her to try and make her dream come true. And there's a pretty cool trick to getting on the website as well. Scan my back with the camera and it should take you straight onto the page. But how easy was that? Now that's amazing. Moving on to Side Hustle 5. Just like the last one, this also has to do with fashion. I've got no chance. Unlike t-shirts, this one's to do with shoes. Specifically, flipping limited edition shoes. Now these get released to the market, but get snapped up so fast because they're in such high demand. So you need to have impeccable timing when purchasing these items by clock watching and seeing exactly when they're going to be released. It's a standard buy it low, sell it high method. The shoes that you'll be wanting to look at is the more high-end shoes, so the Jordan 4s, the Jordan 1s, Balenciagas, <laughs> those kind of shoes. And remember, they need to be limited edition because they only make a certain amount of these in the world. 
And despite how rich people are, some people are just not going to wait up till midnight to try and get a shoe that they really want. So they'll just pay for it the next day and get it for a higher price. You can't put a price on sleep. On to the next side hustle. Cash. Cash. Make you invest it. And not all of it, just 10 to 15% of your annual income. Now, there are many different ways to invest in, some with low risk and some with high risk. But in my opinion, after reading <laughs> a lot of books, is to have high diversification while pound cost averaging, because time in the markets beats timing the markets. Good saying. High diversification means you're lowering your risk to exposure in order to maximize the potential profits you can get. Because if one company takes a turn for the worse, another company may offset the losses and go on to exceed expectations. A great example of low risk investing is within the S&P 500. This is an ETF which works exactly like a stock. It consists of the top 500 publicly traded companies within the US and its track record is pretty good. The S&P 500 has beat 99% of investors over the past 20 years, which is not too shabby. So if you feel like the next Michael Borean want to take on the big S&P, not that I don't believe in you, but I'll be placing a bet firmly against you. And this is the reason why. On January 1st, year 2000, if you'd had made an initial deposit of £1,000 and contributed £150 every single month since then up until now, you'd now be sat on £128,000, racking a whopping £87,000 in compound interest. And here's where it gets even better. If you was to leave it in and continue to add £150 per month, the predicted amount that you have by 2030 is 280,000 pounds. That's double. And by 2035, you'll have 445,000 pounds. Racking up a whopping 380,000 pounds in compound interest, having only put 63,000 in there yourself. Wow! And this is why Warren Buffett earned so much more in his later life than he did leading up to this point. And that's because investing is all about building your wealth until you hit the exponential growth phase, which is the part of the graph that goes wee. You can also get better results quicker by adding more contributions every single month. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? Maybe start a side hustle, which is what this whole video has been about. Now, there are other ways of investing, for example, getting dividends, going into bonds. Name's Bond. Not that Bond. Cryptocurrency, NFTs, there's so many. But I'm gonna save that for another video because this one's getting quite full. So if you're wanting to invest, I use an app called Trading212. I love it, it's really user-friendly, and you can also get a free stock worth up to 100 pound when signing up and depositing one pound. Use the promotional code that's on the screen right now for when you sign up and you'll get this free stock. It will also be in the description as well, so if you miss it on the screen, just copy and paste it from there. Enjoy the stock. Next, side hustle. What are we on, number seven? This is one of the more complicated side hustles that I'm gonna be attempting at some point and it's a method called drop shipping there are many ways to do this but the main concept is buying bulk items from china 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 south china 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 all the time china for very cheap create a website that has some fire promotion and upscale them selling them for more this can be as passive as you want it to be because you can set a supply and demand chain up with amazon fba where they will pretty much do everything you've just got to sell the stuff and let me tell you i've seen some people make some ludicrous amount of money from this i'm talking six seven eight figures but like i said if you're going to do this by yourself you have to have such a wide skill set you need to find an item that will sell with a good supplier. Then you need to create a website for this, create the promotions, target your audience for the advertisement, create a following, set the supply and demand chain up, sort the returns and refunds out. And if it gets big, hire some people. So yeah, it is a lot of work, but definitely worth it. So let's move on to the last side hustle. Firstly, I want to thank you so much for watching this far. I really do appreciate it. My G. There is a reason why I've left this one last, and that's because I believe this to be the hardest to do. It's called social media. Anything from YouTube videos, TikTok, blogging, vlogging, putting some content up on Skillshare. You can actually get paid for making content by monetizing your videos in order to get the ad revenue when people watch these videos. So if you are going to do this, I suggest you find a niche and stick to that subject, trying to be as consistent with your uploads as you possibly can, which I'm not, so I've got no hope. I just like making these videos. For example, this is a money-making channel, so I'm going to be posting money-making videos on here and also how you can save money. It'd be weird if I started posting gaming videos on here because it wouldn't fit the niche. You also want to do a little bit of research into the niche that you're going in to see if it gets a lot of views. And you also want to find out the CPM of your niche, which is how much you get paid per 1,000 views. 
Ironically, money videos have a much higher CPM rate than any other videos out there. So if and when I start getting views, <laughs> dollar bills, yeah. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something new. Wait, hold up, I do have one last tip for you and that's because I've just heard to increase the chance of you being successful in the future, you do need to smash that like button. It would make me really happy and it makes me know that I'm doing a good job. So please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and hit the subscribe button as well if you want to see more videos like this in the future from me. If you're going to do all of that, you might as well hit the bell button as well, which will notify you when I next upload. With all that being said, thank you again for watching the video up until now and have a great day.